Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Moment with Gabby. I am your host, Gabriel Mosa. Today we're taking a dive into the comedy world. I will be interviewing an MC and stand-up comedian. He will be telling us more about his experience, his journey, and various things that you can learn about the comedy world. Stay tuned for more. As of now, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified for new episodes. Karibu sana uga bachala. Thank you. Asante, asante, asante sana. Asante sana. You're, you're doing well. <laughs> Tell us why you call uga bachala. You're a bachala. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, the, the, the uga came from uh, people calling me uga at school because I'm Nigerian. So Nigerians, we are mostly called uga. Mm -hmm. Me and boss. Mm -hmm. The bachala would come from <clears throat> me and my li and ladies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So... I kind of I I have a uh, big fan base when it comes to 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 women. Mm -hmm. So the whole bachelor thing came 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 from there. Mm -hmm. So the ogre and I just fused ogre and bachelor together. Mm -hmm. So yeah, okay. that's where the bachelor came from. It's an interesting name. Yeah, very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> but what are your official names? Uh, my official names are Umeo Bichukwe Buka Henry. Oh, okay. I won't pretend like I know how to pronounce it, <laughs> but it's fine. So tell us who you are and what you do. Oh, uh, okay. Um, first of all, I'm a stand-up comedian. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm also an author. Mm -hmm. I'm a model, former Mr. Nazarene. Uh, what else do I do? I organize events. Oh, what else do I do? Yeah, I, I, that's what I can remember for now. Mm -hmm. um, I enjoy playing soccer too. Mm -hmm. I'm a very good footballer. I play for the school team. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I think that's that's me in a in a nutshell. Yeah, in a sketch. Okay, so you do various things. Hey, anything that has to do with talent. Okay. I think I'm a, on, on a very talented person. You think you're very talented. I think I am. So you think in all those things you're talented in all. Yeah, hey, I'm good at everything. <laughs> I have I, I have awards on on every on every talent that I have. I have put my put my time and resources into. Even being an author. Yes, yes, yes. I released a book last last year, mm -hmm. last in November. Mm -hmm. I've sold over 500 to 1,000 copies, 500 physical, mm -hmm. and I think 500 online too. Wow. I have a book on Wattpad, which with around 30,000 reads. So, yeah. So, you're really a jack of all trades. I yeah, like I'm a the... big jack of all trades. <laughs> <laughs> so, in the comedy world, mm -hmm. what made you start pursuing that? Ah, very simple hunger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hunger for what? Hunger, hunger. I was hungry at that time. Uh -huh. At that time, when I got, dived into comedy, I was broke. Mm -hmm. Like, I think at that time, I was I had a, a huge financial uh, challenge. And my friends have always been telling me, Oh, Henry, you're funny. You always you, you make us laugh. You can step up and just do this. So, during uh, one of, uh, I was in the drama club. At African as a university mm -hmm. so they had a comedy category they're like ah, why not try it let's mm -hmm. see how it goes yeah then i went my first performance i was position three or four there about i'm like oh okay mm -hmm. here's something i can i can actually hack yeah then i kept at it kept doing it back to back to back to back then i got a wind of it okay then I, I got better at it i i i started to to put put my name out there mm -hmm. then from there Everything has everything has been has been going well. How long have you been doing it for? Sing, I got into the comedy scene since twenty sixteen. Mm -hmm. Twenty sixteen. So from twenty sixteen until twenty sixteen. But I, my my big break came in twenty nineteen on George Show. Mm -hmm. I that's when I got introduced now to to the like to to Kenyans to the world like my big break twenty twenty nineteen December. That's when I got my big break at Garden City. Yes. How were you able to get into the Churchill Show? Ah. Uh, the the creative director at Churchill came to adjudicate at the Kenyan Drama Festivals. Oh, then he okay. saw me perform. I won that that whole. I won the the comedy section at that time. Mm -hmm. So when I went to the audition, she was like, "Ah, oh, you're the guy from the Kenyan Drama Festival." I'm like, "Yes." Mm -hmm. it's like, "Ah, fine. Welcome on board." I didn't even audition. They just said, ah, "You just come and and perform." Okay. You just come and perform. Then I went and I did my thing. 
So it was it must have felt good now after that. Many doors must have opened after yes, that. Yes, yes, my prize went off. <laughs> I had pride and ego. <laughs> I became a big boy. I became a big boy in school. I was looked up to. I was just like respect came in. Mm-hmm. A lot of people I had a lot of friends and everything. So yeah. And how did you get into MCing? You MC at various universities? Yes. Uh I'm saying will be a sister from Nazarene. Mm-hmm. I started as I started uh I think that would be twenty sixteen too. There's a guy who used to do it in, in school, it was called Dalo. Mm-hmm. So I used to watch every time I go to to, uh, to the events in school, I watch him, I see how he manages the crowd, how he talks to them, how he engages them. Yeah. So I kept watching, kept learning. Mm-hmm. That was when I finally got a chance. Yeah, I don't I don't know what happened. He was not around for one of the events. So I'm like, ah, okay. I step in, then I stepped in. Then uh, it it clicked from there. Then the more the more the more I did it, the better I, I got at it. Mm, okay, that's so yeah, so for I think I gathered my experience and order from African Nazarene. Mm-hmm. Then when I went outside, it was it was easy. Not like really easy, but I, now I had an idea. Mm-hmm. So everything everything went went well from there. Between MC and stand up comedy, which one do you prefer? Do you, would you say that you MC is easy. Really? Hey, MC is very MC. I don't prepare. Uh-huh, just I just go freestyle. I go there. I pick the audience. I pick. I pick on the audience. I I am able to perform what I've done before. Mm-hmm. But comedy is is comedy is tricky. You're scared. And when I'm backstage, when I, before I perform, hey, sweating, sweating. I'm <laughs> shaking. Like it's it's a it's a whole different ball game. Yeah. With comedy, you have to think. You have to predict with people like this content. Mm-hmm. You have to watch people's people's uh uh the age group, the the social class of yeah. the people. There's a lot of things that come. That goes into comedy, writing a joke. It's 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 more tricky. It's time consuming. I can prepare for like one show. I can prepare for like a month or two, depending on how big the show is. Mm-hmm. But for I'm saying, uh, there's no there's no pressure. There's no so pressure. far the money is right. I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> Take note, guys. If the money is right, it's right. there. there. So you said you started from 2016 up until now. You yeah. got your big break in 2019. Yes. What would you say you have the challenges you've experienced? Does it take long for a comedian to set off in Kenya? Yours, it took you about is it three years? Three, uh, uh, three or four? Yes, I would say you have to go through a lot of exposure. Mm-hmm. Something we call exposure platforms. Because mm-hmm. I did not just, for that three years, I did a lot of pro bono. I was on every, so if I, if I see a poster, I see the number, mm-hmm. I call the number. Hi, my name is Egoke Henry, I'm from Nigeria, I'm a stand up comedian. I'd love to perform on your show for free. I need a platform. They're like, oh, yeah, fine, come through. Sometimes they give me a token of appreciation of 1,000, sometimes 2,000. Sometimes they give me food. Sometimes they don't give me anything. <laughs> so I did that for close to three years, uh-huh. two, three years. So it was back and forth, back and forth. I used my, hey, I used a lot. Being to, for anybody who wants to get into the creative space, you should be ready to invest time and money. Mm-hmm. It's, it, if you stay in your house thinking, oh, Jesus will find you. Yeah, Jesus will find you, but hey, if you have to put your name there, you have to put your 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 skill. Because the more time I, the more I did it, the better I got. You understand? Mm-hmm. So when when my big break came in twenty nineteen, even Churchill was was surprised by my level of confidence, maturity, mm-hmm. and the level of jokes I was able to crack. Because I've done it over and over and over again. So yeah, so being to to be a comedian in Kenya is not easy. Mm-hmm. It needs time and it needs money. If I'm in Nigeria, it took me that long. Just imagine you as a Kenyan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, 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 it's not a kid's play. Yeah. yeah, it's not a kid's play. Because when you start making it, you start making it. But you need to put in the time and put in the effort. Would you say it's a passion that helped you persevere for all through all those difficulties? Or you're just a hardworking man? Passion. Let's call it passion. Okay, I've always had a knack for, for making people laugh or making people happy. Yeah. I, I enjoy it. I, I enjoy being on, okay, I basically enjoy being on stage. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if I should call it passion or hard work. <laughs> I'm always I once there's a when I'm with the mic, when I'm on stage, when I when I wear a suit or where I when I look good, mm-hmm. it's just I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if I call it passion or hard work. I won't say passion has helped me persevere and I love and I like money. I think money has helped me has made me persevere. <laughs> Let's not put passion or hard work. <laughs> making money, getting check checkbooks. Mm-hmm. That has made me persevere. Yes. Because if I make Let's say a hundred million dollars or two hundred. I think I will stop everything I'm doing. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, because if I was in Nigeria, mm-hmm. I don't think I'll be doing this right now because I'll be comfortable. I'll be in my father's space, my mother's space. Yeah, they're they're well. I would say they're wealthy, so I'll be I'll be I'll be okay. Mm-hmm. 
I wouldn't be doing this what I'm doing right. If I'm to do anything, probably for fun. Yeah, I think the check the checkbook that keeps coming in keeps me keeps you going. Keeps me going. Yes. So I won't say passion or hard work. Oh, passionate. No, it's not the money. If there's passion and there's no money, you will not find me there. <laughs> Do you think Kenya's comedy industry has grown or is it growing as compared to before? Yeah, uh, Kenya's comedy industry, it has a long way to go, mm-hmm. a very long way to go. Because uh, in Nigeria, our comedy industry is big, like really big. Every comedian has his, uh, his own show. Every comedian can stand. If you say comedian in Nigeria, they can stand far. Mm-hmm. They don't, they're not dependent on oh, anything. Yeah. Yeah. But Kenyan... Comedy scene is still dependent on one person. So the, the growth, even the, the show I did yesterday was for Captain Otoyo. He has been doing the comedy scene for a very long time. This is one of his, his own show. Mm-hmm. Like it took him like I think 10 years plus to get to do his own show. Because mm-hmm. everybody's dependent on the big the big boss. Yeah. You understand? Mm-hmm. So for them to for them to grow. Every comedian should be ready to take a risk of their own. Mm-hmm. Like this is my own show. This is Ogabacha Life, a concert, whatever life in concert. Yeah. That is when the growth will, will kick in. But if you're playing safe, oh, uh, I don't know if people will come to my show. I don't know if I'm able to buy, sell, sell like 50 tickets, 100 tickets. Mm-hmm. If that fear keeps popping up, they, they, there will be no growth. Growth comes from you scaling your fears. Like, beating your fears mm-hmm. if Kenyan comedians don't beat that fear of they don't know what they turn out to be or they feel like the show will be bad or will yeah. be bad mm-hmm. there will be no growth okay yeah so they really need to, to to put that fear behind and and do what needs to be done what would you say is the difference between the Kenyan industry in terms of comedy and the Nigerian industry uh I think this this the only difference there the only difference between the Kenyan industry and the Nigerian industry is the Nigerian comedians are richer. <laughs> yeah, those guys are rich. Because uh-huh. they sell, like, if you go on YouTube, just press Nigerian comedy, so that shows, the, their own shows, they make a lot of money. But here, we're all, we all dependent on one person. So it keeps us, it keeps us grounded a bit. Would you say, would you say that, um, advantages of being in, in Kenya than in Nigeria in terms of comedy. Are there any good packs? Oh, yeah. The currency. Uh-huh. Yeah, oh, the okay. currency is strong. Okay. If you make 10,000 shillings here, that is 50,000 back home right now. 50,000. If you make 50,000 uh, shillings, that is 250,000. Mm-hmm. So the currency is what it's what, it's what keeps me interested exactly. here. Okay. If I make a million shillings, that's 5 million back home. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So the currency is what's is is why Creative I think reason. why I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The currency is why I'm here because if you make it big here, mm-hmm. you're set. You're set for life in Nigeria. Yeah. Castle has to make the money. Go home and rest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So guys, we'll take a break, and the upcoming segment will tell us more about his personal life and how to make it as a comedian. <laughs> Welcome back to this segment, but I hope you like, commented, and you've shared with your friends while we're on the break. So let's continue. Yes. Who would you say has been your biggest mentor in this comedy world, or who would you look up to? I don't have a particular mentor I look up to. Mm-hmm. I, I just watch a lot of comedians. I see what they do. Mm-hmm. We have EY. EY. EY is doing great. We have Apororo. We have um, Kevin. I still watch Kevin Hunt. I watch Trevor Noah. I watch uh, a wide range of comedians, Basket Mouth, uh, Alibaba. I watch how they are able to pass their message to the audience. Mm-hmm. I like how they how they come up with content. Mm-hmm. I like how they deliver it. So I watch different comedians and how the thinking space is like and how they deliver it to the audience and how the audience get the feedback. Okay. So I don't have a particular person like, oh, this is the guy I'm following. No, no. I, I, I learn from every comedian. Okay. So far, you're a comedian, you're funny, you are, you are, I see you have content, mm-hmm. I watch and learn from you. What would you say makes you different from other comedians? Ah, my style. Mm-hmm. Uh, I am a very interactive comedian. It's, you, don't, you, don't, you don't get that, you don't see that. I engage the audience a lot. If you come to my show, there's a 90% chance I would interact with you. I, I, I'm, an interact, I'm an interactor. I, 
throw you questions, you respond back to me, mm-hmm. I engage you, even before I want to start performing. My performance comes in later. I can spend 10, 20 minutes on stage just interacting with you, getting to know you, getting to uh, try to bring out things that we have in common and stuff. Mm-hmm. So my style's unique, is different, because every comedian just come on stage and throw their material at you. Yeah. Me, I interact with you before giving you my material. I, I build that bond, that connection. So by the time I'm done for the first 10, 15 minutes, I'm done, like, by, I'm bonding with you. When I bring my, my material, mm-hmm. Then we are, we are, we are, we are, we, it's like we are friends. Okay. Yes. Can I ask what are the, like the different types of comedy? The stand up and what, are, what oh, else? There is the online comedy. Mm-hmm. There's the stand up comedy. There is uh, the, 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 the one you do on, on stage. The, is it called, it's called a stage play or no, not stage play, a stage comic, whatever way you, you perform on stage, mm-hmm. but it's purely, co- it's purely comical. Um, yeah, I think those are the, the three types I know. Okay. Something that's interesting. So you like stand up because you get to interact with the people, or I don't know. Funny enough, I the the one I enjoy more that I find easy is the stage, is the stage uh comedy mm-hmm. where you, where we are um I'm, I'm acting a role, but it's a very comical role. Yeah, that one is easy because I just freestyle. Yeah, they just give me a, a script, I go through it, and then I enjoy I enjoy that more. There's no pressure. I just know what to say and what to do. I just had I add words. I add facial expressions. And I, but hey, the stand up comedy is fun when you when you kill a show mm-hmm. when you are done with it. Woo! It feels you, you feel like a star. <laughs> but before then, high blood pressure, your heart is beating. <laughs> hey. uh-huh. So it's a lot of it's a lot of pressure. So you'd say that you're a naturally funny person. Yeah, I, I believe so. Really, I believe so. Okay. I mean, some people I've been interacting with, and yeah, I, I I believe so. Okay. What would you say is your end goal in this comedy industry? To make money. That's it. Yeah, I know. 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 Yeah, I think I think that that makes me happy. Okay. Being able to help people, like I make enough money. Maybe I'm not able to grumble. Yeah, that's the word. When you ask me for something, I'm like, ah, I'm not able to grumble to help you. Yeah. I have enough. Like even I give you two five thousand, I don't I don't feel it. Mm-hmm. Now that is the level I I wish to attain. Mm-hmm. Where I'm not where I, where I don't grumble to help. I think I think that will be. That will, I think that would be a very good end goal for me. We are comfortable to be a blessing. I think yeah, that's 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 my end goal. I like it. So you're a generous person. Yes, I believe so. Really? Okay. I believe so. I believe so. so okay, wait. Okay, yeah. What advice would you give to upcoming comedians who would who would like to enter the industry? Advice, two things. Uh to make money, you have to put money. Mm-hmm. Comedy, comedy, it, it depends on, on the greens you carry. You might just pop into the scene, boom. You might, your, your journey might take longer. Yeah. You need to be patient mm-hmm. and you need to be ready to, to learn. Patience, you need to be ready to learn and then to be ready to invest your time and your money. Okay. Because you don't just, yeah, you're funny. Your friends are funny. You're funny. Funny to your friends. But if you don't put yourself out there, you might not get that break you're looking for. Yeah. If you don't call the number on the posters, if you don't go to shows or to 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 locations like hi, can I? And you also need to work on your material because getting a platform is not the problem. Is if you go there and you misperform or you miss you your your set is bad, mm-hmm. nobody will give you a chance next time. Because how I even got started making money is the people I did pro bono for. When they now when if, you, if I do pro bono for you today, you call me back tomorrow now I charge you. No, oh, okay. You understand? I don't yeah. pro bono twice. I do pro bono the first time, I, I make sure I model the shoe. I kill it, kabisa, kabisa. So when you're calling me, hi, oh, by the way, it's this so and so person you performed here for free. Mm-hmm. I want you to come back. I'm like, oh, yeah, I would love to come back, but this is how much I charge. Yeah. Then we, we me and you now go back and forth until we get an, into an agreement. Mm-hmm. And I come through to perform. All right. Yeah, so if you're going to perform in somebody's show, you need to have content. You need to, you need to, you need to work towards it. Mm-hmm. You don't just, they don't just give you a platform, then you mess it up. Nobody will call you next time. Mm-hmm. No. Okay. So let's take a look into your personal life. Okay. 
a bit more relaxed now. What? When did you come to Kenya? Uh, I've been in and out of Kenya. I I stayed. I came to Kenya properly. That would be twenty sixteen. Mm-hmm. But I was first here in twenty fourteen. Then I left the country. I came back. I have been back and forth. Back, gone to Gabon. Gone, so I've been back and forth, back and forth. But I I finally stayed here in twenty sixteen. 2016, yeah, 2016, mm-hmm. 2016, yeah. And do you know Kiswahili? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Which is the favorite Kiswahili word? Well, I don't know if I can sit on your show. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's my favorite thing. <laughs> Matako. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> and where is the favorite place to stay in Kenya? Like Favorite place to chill. Probably in a nice restaurant. Mm-hmm. Two places you find me. In a cinema or in a restaurant. Okay. In any other places, probably if it's, I won't say a club because I go there to work. Yeah, I'm always working. If you see me in a club, I'm, I mean, I'm working mm-hmm. or I want to get a, a job there. Yeah. Yeah, so I think a nice, I'm only, I'm a, I'm a reserved person. When you see me outside, I'm shouting, I'm hyped and whatever, but behind closed doors, behind closed doors yeah. relaxed, I'm always in my space. Mm-hmm. A nice restaurant, you find me in a very nice restaurant and I, I'm always in a cinema. Okay. Always, always in a cinema. What's your favorite thing about Kenya? The people. the people, amazing people, mm-hmm. amazing tribes, amazing sense of culture, amazing sense of of community, beautiful. You can uh, you don't look over your shoulders. Yeah, you're like, hey, what my neighbor is my neighbor doing something? Is it planning something? Is it? <laughs> like there's some calmness like that comes with this country. Mm-hmm. And Nigeria is crazy. Hey, Nigeria. <laughs> you don't know who don't trust each other. Hey, ask me. I will tell you. Hey, it's crazy. Okay. Depending, depending where you're coming from, mm-hmm. you, you don't even go to show off. You're always reserved. Don't know who is wishing you well, wish, wishing you bad. Yeah. When Kenya, you can easily tell. Oh, I'm, I have a show. You're like, ah, fine. They support you. Yeah. Nigeria is crazy. All right. So we're welcoming people. I like that. Beautiful people. Beautiful. In your Instagram bio, yes. you said you're a boo to the bullets. I'm the boo to the bullets. No one and only. No one and only. <laughs> Tell us before we wind up, what's your ideal date that you'll go out with someone? It doesn't have to be serious or not. My ideal date. That would be is it on the on the person I'm going out with? Yeah. Ah, uh, I love someone who is happy. Mm-hmm. You always find me around people that who are happy. I like people that I don't do too much to impress. Mm-hmm. You understand? If I'm very comfortable around that, there are two sides of me. When I'm, if I'm not comfortable around you, I try to do everything to please you. And I'm not happy. I'm yeah. not comfortable. But if I'm comfortable around you, woo, you'll enjoy. Okay. Yeah. So my deal date will be someone who is who is naturally happy mm-hmm. and who I don't I don't have to be somebody else to impress. Okay. I love to be myself around you. If I'm myself around you, we'll always be happy to for seven. <laughs> yeah. So when I say I'm the bull of the bullets, it means I I I got everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a daddy to all. <laughs> okay, ladies, I hope you have taken note of that. Mm-hmm. So before we wind up, tell us how we can follow you on your social oh, handles. Yes. Um, on Instagram, Oga underscore Bachelor. On Twitter, Oga underscore Bachelor. On Facebook, Ibuka Henry. Uh, on TikTok, Oga underscore Bachelor. Oga dot Bachelor. On uh, Vskids, Oga underscore Bachelor. Yeah, most of my handles are Oga. Only my site for Facebook. There's a book, Henry. That was my first account. But then I was still a mommy's boy. <laughs> <laughs> now, now I'm a man of my own. <laughs> All right. Thank you for the interview. I hope you enjoyed the interview. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much for having me. Okay. A big shout out to Obina. <laughs> Obina on blog. News on blog. Follow news on blog right now. ASAP, ASAP. <laughs> okay. That's it for the interview, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the interview. I've been your host, Gabriel Mosa. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And follow us on all our social media handles on instagram twitter facebook at news and plug ke see you until next time